In today's video, we're going to be discussing the SDS Toolkit Cable Fan In Schematic Tool. We're going to attach four wires to these terminals, fan them into a single cable marker, and then continue the cable on the other drawing. Remembering this is a schematic, so we need to put wires and source destination arrows in and so on. We'll start with the command, enter our cable name, C74 in this case, and we'll identify this as a source cable symbol. We can select from several different styles of markers. I'm going to set, uh, remain with the default rectangular style, and we'll use the chamfer for the corners. The annotation will place the markers above the wires, and we have some standard scalings that are usually left um, alone in most scale drawings. We're going to position our marker to the left and then choose the add wire stubs from the wire connection points. I'm going to window around where I want the wires, being careful just to select the lower wire connection points, and you can see how they change into four red diamonds. Then simply press enter, and the tool automatically starts stretching out the wires. You are selecting two spots in this initial spot, how far away you want the wire and the direction where you want the cable marker to be placed, at least the initial direction. And then I'll just again place the final marker. The insert edit cable marker parent wire box comes up where we can now select a catalog lookup. I'm going to select just a uh, single cable. This one happens to have four conductors in it. So this is all set up inside of the part catalog database. And the reason I'm doing that is that the tool then automatically maps all the colors to the descriptions in the source destination arrows based on that catalog number. So you can see these four came in with white, black, red, and green. Now this tool has done multiple things for us at one time. It's drawn in the wires. You can see the short white pieces here that are actually the source destination arrows, a different style instead of an arrow or a wavy line is just a straight line to simulate that the wires are all in one spot. Here you can see the unique code that was generated based on the cable number C74.1.2.3 and .4 and so on. So it's done all of that for us including drawing the wires in using the magical multi-wire layer in AutoCAD Electrical. This provides attachment information so it knows that the wires are all connected together, but it doesn't treat it as an actual wire where you'd have short circuits and so on. But then it does also provide the data saying that C74 is the cable that's attaching all four of these wires. So we're done with this drawing. Now I'm going to move to drawing number seven and continue that cable, fanning it back out to the terminals in the drawing. I'm zooming into these four areas and will repeat the command, but in a slightly different way. So we're again going back to cable fan in schematic, but this time there is already an existing cable that we want to connect and use. So I could type in the information here, but there is an easier way. I can go to the list option scroll down to the source arrows I want to connect to, and we can see here is C74, the cable we just inserted. Here's where the wires are coming from in the terminals and the unique signal codes for that cable. I can select that cable. The tool automatically marks the destination for us. We again can choose how we want the corners to show up and the style. You can have different styles on different drawings. And this cable marker position is going to be to the left. Again, there's two options for adding new wire connections. So that's what we're doing here in the case of these terminals. Or if there's already wires drawn, you could select from the ends of the existing stubs. So I'm going to, again, window around the drawing, being careful just to select the four upper wire connections. Again, turning to red diamonds. Just like before, I'm going to drag this upright and over. And you'll see the tool again finishes all of the work for us, copying the component tag and cable information from the initial component. And it places in 
the source destination markers linking the wires as continuous wires from one drawing to another. Now the tool places these in arbitrarily, basically just in sequence. So this is wire 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that's also the signal code values. So if you need to change those as you're going between the drawings, we have great tools available in the SDS toolkit, including this one like the swap signal reverse. This works amazingly well. For example, let's say the white wire actually needs to go into number three. So I can simply pick on those two, press return, and it swaps those wire pieces around for us. What it's really doing is changing the code values that are in place. If I edit this component, you'll see it's now 74.3, the third wire, and this one here is 74.1, which was the first wire. So really what the swap tool is doing is not changing the colors, but it's changing the signal codes, which then of course changes the colors and where the wires connect. So you have accurate drawings in your component. One last reminder, this tool is different than the cable fan in WD tool, which is simply annotations on a wiring diagram. So be careful you don't confuse those two.